Zach's Know Your Options, a weekly overview of unique option strategies and ideas designed to help you beat the market no matter which direction it's going. Well, this time around, we're talking about strangling the market. <laughs> oh, sounds violent to me. I don't know. Let's bring Kevin Matris in here, our top options technician here to talk about this. Yeah, sometimes I'd like to strangle the market. I'd like to strangle some of the people who make <laughs> up the market sometimes. Yeah, you know, I think we all do sometimes. Uh, of course, the strangle I'm talking about isn't the chokehold that, uh, that some people think I'm talking about, but instead, it is a strategy to get on both sides of the market in an effort to profit regardless of what happening. You know, this would have been good if you could have demonstrated this particular strategy with, uh, let's say, WWE stock or yeah, something. There. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But this is good for earnings season, right? Yeah, you know, uh, this week you and I, we talked about uh, earnings surprises. We also talked about how you can position yourself after a company has reported surprises. Um, but in this strategy, we want to talk about how you can potentially get yourself positioned before a company makes an announcement or really before any big report is coming out, something where you believe could have a significant impact on the market. And again, you don't have to worry about guessing right or wrong. With a straddle or a strangle, you can get properly positioned and make money regardless of what direction the price goes in. All right, so how does it work? All right, check it out. First off, let's see if we can go through some definitions. All right. A strangle is when you have both a call and a put option with different strike prices, both out of the money and with the same expiration dates. A straddle is when you have both a call and a put with the same strike price. Uh, typically, they're both going to be at the money. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, they both have the same expiration dates. Both of these strategies, strangles and straddles, are used to position oneself on either side of the market in an effort to take advantage of a potentially big move in either direction. Okay. So again, this could be prior to an earnings release, it could be prior to a big announcement, it could be prior to a big economic report, whatever. Uh, and again, last quarter's earnings season was a great example. I think when you and I were talking, we were commenting about how you know, extreme the price reaction has been to a lot of these different surprises. Oftentimes, a company will have a positive or a negative surprise, and you see an immediate double-digit price move, oftentimes in a big gap fashion. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, if you guessed right, you're a hero. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, well, you weren't. Right. But again, with a straddle or a strangle, you can make money regardless of what happens. All right, now that you've unloaded that information on us, how does this all work? All right, check it out. Let's say that you had a stock, or let's say you were looking at a stock that was trading at $100 right before their earnings announcement. And you decided to put on a strangle by buying the $105 calls and let's say the $95 puts. Since you only planned on being in this trade for anywhere from a few days or let's say even a couple of weeks, uh, you got into an option with only a few weeks of time left till expiration. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because if you're buying options with a small amount of time left, you don't have to pay for unnecessary time premium. That allows you to keep your costs down. Okay. Continuing with the example, Let's say it's earnings day and the company posts a terrible negative surprise and the stock immediately drops by 15% or let's say 15 bucks. And let's uh, say that in the following weeks it goes down another five bucks mm -hmm. for a total drop of let's say 20%. What's happened is your call option has gotten absolutely sacked. Your put option though is soaring. Now let's say it's expiration. With the stock at $80, the call option is out of the money, and that has expired worthless, which means your loss is $330. But the put option is $15 in the money, which means the put option is worth $1,500. All right, go ahead. All right, so let's continue. If you look at the math, the strangle had cost me $650 to put on. Right. I lost $330 on the call option, mm -hmm. but I can sell the put for $1,500, which is $1,180 more than what I paid for it. So, $1,180 profit on the put minus the $330 loss on the call, mm -hmm. that's an $850 profit on a $650 investment for a 130% return. Now. If I had purchased the stock, right, 
and I had guessed correctly and I got short before the announcement, I could have made 20 bucks or $2,000. However, had I guessed wrong, I also could have lost $2,000 or 20% on my investment. But again, with a straddle or a strangle, mm -hmm. I could have even guessed wrong in the sense that I could have thought the market was going up, but it would have went down and I still could have made money. And that is the beauty of this kind of strategy. Now, if I put two strangles on, right, I could have increased my profit potential. I would have made 1700 bucks. True, my investment would have been twice as large, 1300 but that is still a fraction of the cost it would have cost me to buy that stock in the first place. All right. Well, I'm sure, you know, investors or traders would like to do this all day long if they could, but what are the risks? Are there any? Yeah, of course, there's always risks. You can lose all of what you paid for the investment, which means in this case, you could have lost the entire $650. But again, that's probably at least what you would have been willing to risk had you gotten into the stock in the first place. But again, uh, you can lose all of what you put in, uh, and, but, but the, the real benefit is that you can lose what you put in, you can also lose your commissions, but you cannot lose any more. However, though, as long as there is a big move in either direction, doesn't matter which way, as long as there is a big move, you potentially can profit very nicely. But if nothing happens, if the stock stays flat, that is where both sides of your trade are pretty much going to collapse. They're probably going to expire worthless, and that is where you're going to lose. But if you're expecting something big to happen, but you're not really sure which direction it's going to go in, a straddle or a strangle is a great way to take advantage of that. All right. Straddling, strangling. I don't know if I'm supposed to wrestle or ride a horse <laughs> here, but Kevin knows, and he gives you all of this information each week in these options pieces. The information that he provides is just another way that he helps you know your options. With Kevin Matris, I'm Terry Ruffalo.